Hello, Jordan family. This is Assistant Principal Boyce to share with you our fall semester testing plan. This plan includes EOC and CTE state assessments and teacher made assessments. During this presentation, I will be sharing an overview of the state testing schedule, explain who takes a required state test, assist with understanding the testing schedule, including both state test and teacher made tests, review final exam grading, and provide some test prep reminders, including a planning tool for students to use to input their specific schedule. The testing window will begin on January 10th and continue through January 14th. This includes makeups if the initial test day is missed. All AB year-long courses will test at the end of the school year. It is crucial for students to be present for their exams to earn their final exam grade, which counts as 20% of their overall grade for the class. Who is testing? The fall testing schedule incorporates fall semester state required testing and teacher made testing. Students taking English 2, Biology, Math 1, or Math 3 as a fall semester class have a required end of course or EOC state assessment. Some career and technical education or CTE courses have required state assessments. Exemptions for final exams do not apply for state required tests. All other fall semester courses will have teacher made exams. As mentioned previously, the EOC courses include English 2, Biology, Math 1, and Math 3. CTE state testing courses include Animal Science 2, Business Law, Business Management, Foods 1, Foods 2, Horticulture 2, Hospitality and Tourism, Principles of Business, Sports Marketing 1, and Sports Marketing 2. Now let's look at the daily testing schedule. January 10th through 13th is divided into three blocks. Block 1 is the state testing block and teacher made exams or classes for the designated period. Block 2 and Block 3 are teacher made exams or classes for the designated periods. For students who do not have a state test on a given day, teachers may give their teacher made exam during Block 1 and Block 2. Teacher made exams will not occur during Block 3 to ensure students do not have to take more than two exams in one day. Friday, January 14th, will be a makeup day for any outstanding test, both state and teacher made. The state testing blocks have several important instructions for each day. January 10, for example, lets you know that all students taking a first semester course in English 2 will test that block. The next line lets you know that all students taking a first semester first period CTE tested course will test that block. Note that any student who needs to take both an EOC and CTE test that occur at the same time will need to first take the EOC and take the CTE on a designated makeup day for that period. The next line lets you know that all students not taking a state test will report to a stated period to take their teacher made tests or have class. This exact period for teacher made tests will be determined and communicated by the teacher. January 11th through 13 test blocks add one more piece of information. Students who miss the state exam the day before will make up that exam if they do not have another state exam for that day. As mentioned earlier, Friday, January 14th will be a makeup for all outstanding exams, both state and teacher made. It is critical that students are present for exams as Friday, January 14th will be the last day they will be able to make up any test. Students needing maximum time for EOCs and or CTE state assessments will be allowed to take any missed teacher made exam before or after the EOC or CTE assessments scheduled with the teacher of that course. Finally, please note that the times for each block are different on January 12th through 13th as compared to January 10th through 11th. This is due to the EOC test on those days, which is Math 1 and Math 3, are longer. Block 2 starts at 1236 and provides 90 minutes of class time for teachers who are giving teacher made exams. Block 3 is shorter as a result. The lunch schedule as a part of Block 3 was adjusted for January 12th through 13th to accommodate that time change. January 10th through 11th we will follow the regular lunch schedule and January 12th through 13th we will follow the alternate lunch schedule. The regular lunch schedule works from the same times as our current regular bell schedule and the departments that are designated for A lunch, B lunch, and C lunch remain the same as our current regular lunch schedule throughout the week. Please read the schedule carefully. 
particularly the periods that meet each day for each block, including the A or B day designated for each day for the year-long class meetings. Remember that only final exams for semester one classes will be given on January 10th through 14th. A, B day classes will take their exams at the end of the school year. Teacher-made exams can be any of the following. A test with the teacher for the testing schedule, a test that is released to students with a window of time to complete or submit, a project with a due date, or another teacher-determined assessment. Remember that for teachers that choose to give their assessment with the students for the testing schedule, we have designated the testing schedule to ensure that students will not have to test more than two final exams in one day. Final exams count as 20% of the student's final grade for the class. This includes both state assessments and teacher made. Exam exemptions do not apply to state assessments. All students must take the EOC and CTE state assessments. Exam exemptions may be approved for the teacher made exams if a student has an A or B in the class. Attendance is not factored into exam exemptions. Some tools and final prep reminders as we prepare for final exams. Students can utilize the JHS personalized exam schedule template to map out their specific exam schedule for January 10th through 14th. This template can be accessed on the testing page of the Jordan website. You can also use the QR code here to access it with your phone. Here is a list of what to bring and what not to bring for state testing. Please remember to bring your Chromebook and have it fully charged. It is optional, but you may bring a water bottle and or a book to read following state testing. Students should not bring blankets, pillows, or personal computers or tablets. Exceptions may be made for these items that are needed for afternoon classes. A few final exam reminders. Don't forget to study. Don't procrastinate in preparing for your tests. Get good rest the night before the test and be sure to eat breakfast at home or at school. Use the JHS final grade calculator to help you calculate what you need to achieve on your final for your desired grade. Finally, you can find this slide deck with the hyperlinks included on the Jordan website on the testing information page. If you have any questions regarding testing, please contact me, Assistant Principal James Boyce at james underscore boyce dash junior at dpsnc.net. Thank you and good luck on preparing for your exams. Go Falcons!